Hi kids. Okay, let's talk about some uh, film news from this week. Uh, we'll start with something we talked about last week, which was Gal Gadot and James Gunn meeting to discuss the next Wonder Woman film. Apparently that was not what they were doing. Maybe they were just talking about uh, Gal's place, that Gal Gal, her place in the DCEU, or who knows. Who knows at this point, maybe they're lying and saying they, they really were discussing Wonder Woman 3, but uh, they don't want people to know. Who knows? Anyways, just had to address that along those lines. Apparently, David Ayer uh, is saying that James Gunn, because James Gunn is overseeing all this, told him that uh, he will get to release the David Ayer cut of Suicide Squad funny because there's Suicide Squad and The Suicide Squad, one of them directed by David Ayer, one of them directed by James Gunn. Which one did you like better? So if you're a fan of the David Ayer version of Suicide Squad, um, maybe that's exciting news, right? I, f I imagine that people like David Ayer's Suicide Squad want to see the David Ayer cut. People who don't like it don't really care. Probably not going to make a difference. Same with the Zack Snyder. Release the Snyder Cut. If you are a fan of Zack Snyder, yeah, you probably wanted to see the Snyder Cut. But if you weren't a fan of Zack Snyder or not a fan of the movie, you probably didn't care. Um, let's see. Along those lines again, apparently the Marvel uh, visual effects artists have gotten together and uh, voted to, uh, I think, unionize or strike something along those lines uh they need better treatment better pay there's all this stuff about uh ant man man quantum mania and the working and you can see kind of the work uh marvel relies on visual effects a lot that's not a secret uh so yeah maybe they should treat their people better pay your people um speaking of which uh, the studios might have blinked in their uh, negotiations with the Writers Guild and the Screen Actors Guild. Pay your people. Um, you see all these stories of people that are all in these streaming things and they get paid no money for it. Um, yeah, there's some, some story about Suits getting like 4 billion hours of watch time people getting paid $4,000 from that. Anyways, um, what else happened this week? Uh, I've talked about it. Uh, William Friedkin died, director, the most 70s director, maybe. Uh, he was 87 years old. The director of The French Connection, The Exorcist, Cruising, Boys in the Band, uh, To Live and Die in L.A. Um, you could say a very fearless director. Whether you like his movies or not, um, he had a way of doing things, and he didn't care what you thought. You gotta respect that, or don't, whatever. Um, and then also this week, the, um, the weapons supervisor in the film Rust, that independent film, um, where a gun was fired, being held by a Baldwin, um, resulted in the death of Helena Hutchins. Um, so she has pleaded, the weapons supervisor has pleaded not guilty. Um, apparently she was uh, intoxicated or drinking or smoking some marijuana during the day, during filming. Now she's not on set, but she's on set. She's responsible for making sure nobody gets shot. So I don't know. Anyways, um, and then uh, I saw that Lebanon is trying to ban Barbie. I'm showing in Lebanon there are people trying to get it banned uh, because of it promoting homosexuality. This is 2023, people. Um, anyways, that's it for film news this week. That's my five. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe.